No, I have, I have it in my custody agreement, a copy right here on my phone. Look, listen, okay? I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not making things up and trying to cause drama. It says it in the agreement, Ma, look. Unless otherwise agreed to in writing by both parties or ordered by the court, neither party shall remove the child from the state without prior written consent of the other party. Any request for out-of-state travel shall include the following. The proposed destination and duration of the trip, the reason for the trip, the names and contact information of all individuals who will be accompanying the child, a copy of any necessary travel documents or visas. She broke a rule. I'm not crazy, Ma. I'm, I'm sorry for getting worked up. But she broke a rule. And, and like, I hate that she gets away with it. All right, but Joey, look at the context. It was just Sesame Place. Do you really want to be that guy? That's got to be the medication talking. Because if this was my old mom, the one who hated Miranda and caused me to divorce her, you would, you would agree with me, you know? You would fight tooth and nail to, to tell these family court agents what she did. And just that, like, she's so blatant with it. You don't think that this was, like, she did it to spite me, okay? She, she, she does things in this custody agreement to, like, I'm going to do this to show him that I, I got it like that. That they're on my side with this. It's to throw it in my face. She don't want to go to Sesame Place. She, mm. I just care about my grandson. What do you want me to say? Burn her at the stakes for taking him to Sesame Place? And this isn't even a rule in the custody agreement that she broke maliciously. I just wish people would admit that if like I had a girlfriend and I had custody of Junior and I did this, it would, it would be people at my door with pitchforks and, and whatever else. Like, I can't do these things, but she, like, ooh, I, I can just imagine if I did this, I took him out of state and just the, the comments of like this and that, like he did this wrong, but she just gets a pass. She gets a pass to do whatever she wants. Yes, it's just Sesame Place, but what's stopping her from taking him to Japan? In this case, I know you're going to say this is the medication again, but it's not. You know, I've been through a lot and I've thought about a lot of things and I have certain views on things. And the way I see it, you didn't get arrested or put in prison for your unemployment fraud, your child support fraud. You dodged a bullet. Now you did not get arrested for the welfare check. God has spared you twice. Please don't go digging and trying to cause problems because then the devil's gonna get you. Now, you know the way I see it, Ma? God helped me do the welfare check. He said, check on your son, do the right thing. And then the devil tried to catch me and tried to lock me up for doing something that I didn't do. And then God saved me again. So that's the message that I get from it all. And I, <laughs> we have a custody agreement, mom. The, the custody agreement has rules. When I give my son a tablet, everyone says I'm breaking the rules and my, my custody agreement should be thrown out. She takes him out of state and she breaks a rule and it's cute. Do you know how many people in the Midwest who just heard you say that probably just spontaneously combusted at the ignorance? Listen to the family court agent. Listen to your lawyer. I know it's difficult, but part of being the good guy and giving herself a chance at getting custody of Junior one day it means keeping your mouth shut, even when you may be right in the battle. Sometimes you just have to bite your tongue and live to see another day. Devil or not, fuck that. Mom, I'm trying not to freak out and I'm trying not to get mad because you watch Charlotte and I appreciate that, but you can't give honey to a baby. That's a new thing. 
Back when you and Gina were babies, I used to give you guys honey all the time. Plus, Charlotte was a little colic. It helped her. We're not back from Sesame Place for two minutes, and this is what we're doing now. It's bad, Mom. Look, I looked it up. It can cause botulism. And what is boodleism? What is that? It's bad for babies, okay? Like, it can cause blurred vision, difficulty swallowing, muscle paralysis, respiratory failure. All right, well, Miranda, I don't think this should be a huge deal. It was one time. Let's not make it into something. Okay, but remember when my former mother-in-law gave Junior peanut butter to test his allergies without telling me this feels very similar? Come on. You know how Miranda is. And what's that supposed to mean? I love you, sweetheart. I do. But are we forgetting the argument we had before we went to Sesame Place, which was ironically about Ernie being left in the bassinet? Okay, Brian, it's not... We're not going to go over why plushies should not be in the bassinet with a newborn. Just know that it's not safe. Just like giving honey to a newborn, whether or not you guys did it back in the day, we don't do that anymore. Today, we don't do that. Can I just, can I say this? When I gave her a little bit of honey, just like I used to with you and Gina, she did stop crying. It put her right to sleep. Is she breathing? Of course she's breathing, right? Yes, she's breathing. 